In the previous example, uh, we, with the command line, we saw that we, we were using it this way, as you can see. So we were typing in uh, the name of the color on the command line. With the new script, now that we are using uh, get options, you need to prefix it with uh, the minus minus color. So if I run the process command line script, or process command line, if I run it, it will provide me the prompt as earlier, I can select the color there. If I give a value there, it just disregards it, because it's looking for the minus minus color. Now I have to still select the color. If I now put in minus minus color, then that's what you get, uh, the color value. Right? So, in addition, uh, what happens if uh, we don't provide a color. So we provided the minus minus color, but not the color. That's uh, in that case, the, um, I get the a warning and the usage message. And this is because the get options function is checking whether the, per, uh, the equal s here is checking whether uh, requires us provide a value after the minus minus color and if not then that this get options will return a false, a false value and then the or die part, the die part is executed but be besides that the get options print a warning so the option color requires an argument is coming from get options itself and then this usage is because of the or die part another case when uh, get options would fail is when you say, let's say, provide. So it's op it's okay. First, of all, it's okay to run it without a minus minus color. If you provide a minus minus color, then you have to also provide a value. But again, if uh, you provide um, x y z, it doesn't matter. It just accept because the whole uh, minus minus color part is just to give a name for the parameter. It still doesn't check whether the value is one of the accepted values. But in addition, you can also or you could also provide some other uh, value. For example, let's say you're typing color this way and then provide a blue color, which is perfect. But then yes. it will t tell you it's unknown option. So the, there are two main cases when this uh, the get options will fail, meaning it will return false. One if uh, you well the problem more one if um, it requires a string but you get um, a minus minus color without a, a value that's one thing and then you get a warning and a false so you can get here to the or die part or if you if the user provides an option that wasn't, wasn't uh, described here so either because it's a typo uh, or because it's uh, or because we have a typo or because uh, the users thought that uh, this script would accept, for example, the minus minus uh, machine operator uh, flag machine, and then obviously it, it doesn't.